Hi everyone, welcome to day three of the hashtag event, Love Fall Art. Today I'm going to be working on some eco printing. Um, I've had some questions and people want to see exactly how it's done, so I'm going to show you my version of it. So I soaked my paper in the alum, and this is what one pound of alum looks like. And you have to be very careful when using it and put your gloves on. I collect various things from outside, and then I play around and see how it prints. I haven't really a clue sometimes how it's going to print. My paper was soaked for 48 hours in a loom, a little longer than I intended that to happen. Um, so the paper is very tender right now, so you have to be real careful. So I have some maple leaves on there. This is goldenrod. These are leaves from my um, New Guinea Impatient. Some petals from the New Guinea Impatient. And some lichen. Um, which is the moth covered, covered um, barks, and I'm putting those on there, and then I'm spraying everything with vinegar spray. And then you take your other sheet of paper. Now, if you take another sheet of paper like this and put it directly on top, you're going to get a double print, meaning prints on this side, prints on that side. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll speed this up while I stack and spray. So once you have everything stacked, you want to put them between more cardboard. So this is the top layer of the cardboard. And feel free just to press down, doesn't matter. And now I'll take you over there to the other side of my kitchen and we will start the steaming process. You can get much more elaborate setups than what I have here. Um, this is what you call the make and do what you have set up. So this is an old turkey pan, roasting pan, two bricks, rusted water that's left in there, that doesn't matter, but what does matter is making sure that you have enough water, and I have learned that I need at least a gallon of water. I want to fill it up to about that point on my brick, and that way, because this is going to steam for at least two hours, and I know I'd go one hour with my water level being up there, and I don't have to check anything. I want to check it the least amount of time, you know, because once you move the top, you're letting some of the steam out. So that's the base of my contraption here. Now I'm going to put my layers. And this is my layers that I just stacked up. I want to show you the bottom part has a grid on it. I forgot to show you that, I think, or maybe I did, I don't know. But this is the bottom part of the grid, not just to keep everything solid, so when the paper gets damp from steaming, nothing falls over into the water, although I heard that's okay, but I don't do that. So, I lay that on top of my bricks. Now you got to stack everything on top of this. So I'm going to put... This is usually on the bottom, so I'm kind of curious as how that's going to work on top. It's a very rusty grid. And I'll put that piece of tile there, this heavy brick, and then to balance that out, I'll put that short brick on top. And that kind of seems so far to do fairly well. I might 
probably could use more weight, but it, it works okay. And this is a one of those disposable aluminum tins that you can buy. I cut the ends here so that I could mold them in so they'll fit inside the turkey tray and that way the steam will stay inside. So I just tuck all that into the pan so you can see how that's tucked inside not hanging over the edge because if it hangs over the edge when the steam comes up condensation is going to come down and makes a mess on your stovetop. I know because I did that. That's why I cut the edges and made this. <laughs> and then just to weight everything down, I use that. Now, when you have to check your steamer to make sure that your water has not com completely evaporated while you're doing this and set timers so that you know how long you've done it, um, do use proper protection, like a big mitt, some towels. The steam is very, very hot, and people have gotten burned by lifting these tops off and um, the steam coming up, and it will burn you. So I set my heat. This is on two burners. Okay, so this lays across two burners. I set mine on medium, and I will have to just come back, or maybe I can take a picture of this steam. Um, I got to turn my fan on. You want ventilation. You have these chemicals in here. Even the vinegar, um, when it's cooking like that, can be really strong. And um, anyway, so I'm going to set my timer for one hour, check it. Then I'll set it again for another hour. And then we'll come back for the big reveal and see if anything works. You never know. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. But we'll find out. Be back later. Okay, big reveal time. I have not peaked, so I haven't a clue if this is going to be good reveal, bad reveal, you know, just don't know. So you can see this is kind of what things look like when you first take them off. And you remove your, ooh, see, nice print. <laughs> this is what I do when I reveal these things. I'm serious. I sit there and go, oh, ooh. So we. <laughs> I will peel these off and um, show them to you. Oh, see, gorgeous, gorgeous, looks great. That's the other side. Um, and try not to talk too much so you don't have to sit there and listen to me ooh and ah. So we'll go fast through this. Ooh, nothing on this. That's disappointing. So anyway, we'll go fast on this and I'll talk to you later. Y'all have a great day. Happy fall. And all that good stuff, don't forget to put in the hashtag LoveFallArt so that you can watch everybody's videos. I have seen some really fabulous ones, and they get me all excited to do more projects. So y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye now.